Bread, Mike Beasley, Markel Fultz, Big Dollar Depot. You go way back, Adrian Branch, Will Williams, Glenn Bias. We've always had guys in the league. Like Prince George's County is special. Prince George's County has produced more elite basketball players than anywhere else in the world. Prince George's County is a place that clearly has created a culture that it produces elite level basketball players. And most of them started playing on street courts where the competition was like no other. You show up to that court on a Saturday morning at you know, 9, 30, 10 o'clock to play pickup. Your only goal was, I don't want to have to sit. So I'm going to play as hard as I can so that my team can keep playing. Then some of that talent poured into the rec centers. You have adults in there that would see all this talent playing on their court. And then you decide to start coaching them a little bit. And then those kids start coaching, and then other kids start coming, and it just, it really just blossomed. Those kids would blossom into some of the best basketball players in the world. You know, to watch Taiwan Lawson, who I tried to recruit to come to Damanda, to watch uh, Chris Wright, to watch, uh, you know, uh, Jeff Green, who we played against when he was in high school. Shoot. I remember going to see Mike Beasley in middle school, at Kennering Middle School, and he was on the team with a couple of other guys, one of them being Austin Freeman, it was really good. And Mike Beasley didn't get in the game, but he went on to be the number two pick in the draft. From all these players from Prince George's County, which one is the one that impresses you the most? Kevin Durant. Please welcome the 2013-14 Kia NBA Most Valuable Player, Kevin Durant. Now on top of all that NBA talent, Prince George's County has produced more than a dozen WNBA players like Rebecca Brunson, who's a five-time WNBA champion and considered to be a future Hall of Famer. I'm Darren Haynes, WUSA 9 Sports.